Dostoevsky quote. I should have known. Should have known. World premiere. See, they've taken notes. They're not. They didn't stop to talk about Metro. Boom! Next trailer. They are the first. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. Like an ancient Egypt game? We conquered this land and built an empire. It's like Age of Empires. But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in Oh, is this Assassin's this is Assassin's Creed? This is definitely Assassin's Creed. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. Oh, you're in the arena. That's pretty cool. That's some Resident Evil Snake right there. Assassin's Creed Origins. They did not say console exclusive on that though. They just said world premiere. From Ubisoft, creative director Jean Gadon. Thank you. Ancient Egypt is the birthplace of modern civilization. I love this guy's accent. And it is accent. also the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure. Egypt, 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingers. I love this guy's accent. Assassin's it's Creed fantastic. Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjai, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And he struggled against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X running in 4K. And now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle, Medunamun. Some gameplay. Cool. World premiere. Has been edited for time. I like that they at least disclosed that. Um that this has been an edited trailer. It was a weird, like, floaty animation that that ah, bird Siwa, did. My home, the sacred oasis.
Be my eyes, Zenu. This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? That's kind of cool. You can scout things out with the eagle. Or whatever that is. Falcon. Eagle. I don't know. There you are. Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. I bet we're going to see a lot of these Y-shaped trees. Some bullet time there. Better be careful here. Nice. Ah, a fine bow. Oh gosh, they're, so they're... I, I, I... Full disclosure here, the the only Assassin's Creed game I've ever played was the first one. Uh, so, and I've heard they've gotten much, much better since the first one. Um, but those equip screens are interesting to me. I don't know if that's a departure or not, but it's like uh, Breath of the Wild, you know, with all those equip screens. That's just what it brought up. Kind of reminded me of right there. Guide me, Senu. Metunamon. I guess there's a reason for that floaty animation because he just kind of floated in midair for a really long time. That wasn't that far of a fall, was it? There's an edit. Yeah, it seems like this is more open worldy because, like, you see the numbers popping up on their life points. I'm wondering if there's like, uh, I mean, I'm sure there probably is, like character upgrade systems and things like that. I, I, you've always been able to upgrade your like attacks and stuff in Assassin's Creed, so I At doubt Xbox, there'll be anything different with that. We've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities.